All right, so in this video, we are going to talk about the area of compound figures. Compound figures are also called composite figures. Compo Oops, I can't spell. Composite figures, <laughs> it's just so that you know how to refer to them by both names. All right, so your goal is I can find the area of compound figures, but also know that they go by the word composite as well. Okay. So for your formula sheet, you can go ahead and pause the video so that you can fill this in, but I'm going to go ahead and get started with the formula. So the formula is actually pretty simple. What you're going to do is you're going to take this composite shape, which is a shape made up of a lot of different shapes, and you're going to find the area for each one and then take the sum of all the areas. So you're going to add all of the areas together. So let's look at this example here. So we have a square and we also have a parallelogram. So the area of the square, 4 times 4, that's going to be area equals base times height. So the base is 4 and the height is 4. And so the area of that square is 16. And so this is 16 yards squared. Okay. Then we have a parallelogram. We know that the formula for that is also base times height. So the base of the parallelogram is 4, and the height of the parallelogram is 2. So 4 times 2 is 8, and so that is going to be 8 yards squared. And all we're going to do is simply add those two numbers together, and we get 24 yards squared. All right, so let's look at our first one. So here we have two shapes. We have a square, and we also have a triangle. So we're going to go ahead and take the area of each one and then add them together. So for the square, its area equals base times height. The base is 2, the height is 2, and so that's going to give us an area of 4. So that's 4 inches squared. Then we have our triangle. So that's area equals base times height times 0 0.5. Area equals, so the base of the triangle is one of the sides of the square, which we know is 2, and the height of the triangle is 1. When I multiply all of those together, I get an area of 1, and so that's 1 inch squared. And when I add these two together, I get 5 inches squared. Alright, next example. So here we have a trapezoid. And if you want to write the word trapezoid, you can. And we also have a half circle on top of it. So let's go ahead and calculate the area of the trapezoid. So that's area equals base 1 plus base 2 times the height times 0 0.5. So area equals, so my base 1 is 20 plus my base 2 is 32 times the height, which is 14 times 0 0.5. Simplify my bases, that's going to give me 52 times 14 times 0 0.5. Get my calculator going. So when we do 52 times 14 times 0 0.5, we're going to get an area of 364. So that's 364 millimeters squared. Then we have a half circle on the other side. So that's area equals pi r squared divided by 2 because it's a half circle. So area equals 3.14. Now the diameter is 20, so half of it would be 10 squared divided by 2. Area equals 3.14 times 100 divided by 2. Area equals, when we multiply those two together, 3.14 and 100 is going to simply move the decimal, and it's going to give us 314 divided by 2, which is going to give us an area of 157, and that's millimeters squared. Now, when I take 157 and I add it back to 364, I'm going to get 521 millimeters squared. All right, so the next one here, um, it looks like we can draw a line here. 
and I'll have a rectangle and a triangle. So I'm going to have the area of a rectangle and then the area of a triangle. Now, my rectangle is going to be area equals base times height. So my base is 110. Now, the reason why I'm not taking the 180 is because that is the base of the entire figure, including the triangle. I just want the base of the rectangle. And then times the height, which is 140. So when I multiply those two together, I'm going to get an area of 15,400. Then I have this triangle here. So area equals base times height times 0 0.5. Area equals, now I need to figure out what the base of the triangle is. So the way that I do that is I have the entire base of the figure, but I don't need this part right here, which is the rectangle. So 180 minus 110 is going to leave me with 70. So the base of my triangle is 70. Now I'm going to have to do something similar for the height. The entire height of the figure is 140, but I don't need this part here because that's not part of my triangle. So 140 minus 50 is going to leave me with 90. And so my height is 90 times 0 0.5. So when I do 70 times 90 times 0 0.5, that's going to leave me with an area of 3,150. I forgot to write them in here. So when I add those two together, I'm going to get an area of 18,550 centimeters squared. All right, let's look at an example on a coordinate plane. So here it kind of looks like we have an ice cream cone, but we're going to have to separate it into different shapes. So here I'm going to draw a line. So we have a triangle and we have a half circle. So we have a half circle and we have a triangle. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and calculate the half circle first. So that's area equals pi r squared divided by 2. So area equals 3.14. Now I need to find my radius. So what I'm going to do is first find my diameter. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So if my diameter is 8, then my radius is 4. Divided by 2 because it's a half circle. So area equals 3.14. 4 squared is 16, all of that divided by 2. Area equals, so 3.14 times 16 is 50.24. And again, we're dividing by 2 because it's a half circle, which is going to give me an area of 25.12. So this is 25.12 units squared. Now I'm going to do my triangle. Area equals base times height times 0 0.5. Area equals, so the base of the triangle is the same as the base or the bottom of the half circle, which was 8. Now I need to look at the height. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9 times 0 0.5 and so my area is you're going to do 8 times 9 times 0 0.5 which is going to give you 36 and so that's 36 units squared when you get 36 and you add 25.12 to it you're going to get 61.12 units squared all right, you go ahead and try this one.
All right, go ahead and hit pause if you're not done. So I actually had to add in another line here because I only had four and you can actually divide this up into five shapes. So I took a, the square in the middle and then there's one, two, three, four triangles and they are all the same. So I can just calculate them once and keep the same dimensions. So I did base times height for the square, which was four units squared. And then the triangle was two units for the base, two units for the height times 0 0.5, which is two. I added up four, two, 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 and two, and I got 12 units squared. Okay, go ahead and try this one. All right, so there's a couple ways you could have divided this shape up. I just chose to split it down the center. You could have also, or horizontally, you could have also split it down the center vertically, um, and we'll all get the same answers. So for this first triangle up here, we'll call it triangle number one. I had a base of eight and a height of four, which gave me 16 units squared. And then for this triangle down here, we'll call it triangle number two. I had a base of 8 and a height of 2, which gave me 8. Um, and then so I added them up and I got 24 units squared. All right, go ahead and try this one. All right, so we have here, go ahead and pause if you're not done. We have two different parallelograms here. So I just called them one, or not parallelograms, trapezoids. So I just called them number one and number two. So the only difference between one and two was that top base. The first one had a top base of 12 and the second one had a top base of 10. Um, and it does make a difference in the area. So the area for the first one is 108 centimeters squared. 90 centimeters squared for the second one, and when you add them up, you get 198 centimeters squared. All right, so this last one is kind of like a word problem. Um, so go ahead and read it, see if you can plot it appropriately, and then um, go ahead and total up the area. I'll put a little hint here for you.
All right. So for this one, I put a little compass rose up here so that you could remember which way is north, east, south, and west. So it says that she starts at negative 2, 2, and she hikes four miles, um, four, sorry, four units east, and that's going to leave her at 2, 2. Then from there, she hikes to this point right here, which is 2, 0, and then she hikes four units back west, which is uh, negative two zero and then she stops for a break and she hikes to the point zero negative four and then there's a little typo here it says she hikes back to two zero and so what that does is it forms a rectangle over a triangle and the area of both of those is eight units squared and when you add them up it's going to be 16 units squared that she covered that Annika covered all right, we're going to end it here for this lesson, um, but we're going to do a lot more practice with these shapes in class.